Hi, this is Dr. Furkan. Today I'm gonna introduce you some new feature and interesting tool that I have added in version 2.6. So this video is only for version 2.6. So first of all, uh, you will notice that when I change the window and level uh, on the slices views, uh, the change will appear in volumetric data. So now you can actually change uh, the window and level of volumetric data. Uh, the second um, cross here can be uh, visualized. You can enable or disable the crosshair and labeling feature. So now you can add label using mouse clicks. So let me add some points. So far, um, for creating points using mouse clicks, the uh, the volumetric data should not be translucent. If uh, it does, it finds any uh, valid voxel, uh, it will not draw any points on it. So these points uh, the, can be updated. Uh, point colors size and text can be uh, updated as well so these points can be uh, dragged using mouse clicks and these points are dynamically synchronized uh, in all views here you can see that So you can actually place the points uh, using mouse clicks. You can draw a line between two points. And you can get the distance uh, between these two points. For example, if you want to draw a point as a translucent uh, surface, so you need to enable the second uh, feature. Start by crosshair. Press it and crosshair will appear onto the model and uh, on in the slices view. So this crosshair is synchronized. So you uh, place the crosshair at your desired location. Maybe here. And you can press add point across air center. You see the point is created or you can have a shortcut key for that. Shift plus A. So place cross air anywhere and press shift plus A and then shift plus a and these points can be right. uh, you can save all points in the file And you can reload again, delete all, reload. See, all points are reloaded again. So you can actually be manipulate again all the more points. So if you have a very big data, um, for example, the number of slices are in thousand. Uh, then you will feel uh, like a little slow rendering or maybe low FPS uh, in your uh, machine. So what you need to do, you need to do is a data resampling. Uh, if your data is really big, so you need to actually uh, reduce the number of voxels for just for rendering, right? 
so you can actually reduce in XYZ maybe uniformly uh, and you need to press OK right so then you will feel um, the speed up and uh, uh, you know fast rendering then you can actually add points and these kind of things very uh, easily so you can uh, also enable slice planes uh, when you have cross here so the cross here will appear at the center and then you need to uh, move this cross here at the desired location you can change the opacity of this slice planes and then you can draw new points You can delete the selected point if you want. Uh, you can enable the ruler. You can change the layout. Yeah, that's it. I hope it helped. Thank you very much.